Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now there's no doubt that Streamlight has a ton of different products in multiple different lineups. Everything from their everyday carry EDC flashlights to work lights, tactical lights, firearms, and in today's case, well, we have the Vulcan Clutch, a very interesting and large work light. This thing is just a beast. Now, this is going to offer a number of different sort of scenarios in my opinion. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at this in detail. I'm going to break it out of the box. I'm going to give you some first impressions. Then I'm going to charge this up. We'll then get into all the practical field use, and then we'll come back to the studio for my final thoughts. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Streamlight who did provide this for review. And so again, Streamlight having a number of different main product lineups. In this particular case, we're getting into the work light, search light, and I would say like first responder types of things. Like for example, I could see this light being a great offering for a firefighter or a fire crew, something like that. And Streamlight does have a number of products that are literally tailored to first responders. I could also see this going with a construction crew and being part of sort of, you know, an inspection team or somebody who needs to do work in really dark places. I can also see this being used for literally search and rescue or maybe emergency use at your home. So this Vulcan clutch, I think, we're going to find has a real sort of unique look and feel to it, but this is certainly not going to be your EDC offering. And so as we break this out of the box, this thing is absolutely huge. Coming with a sticker, some basic warranty information, your user's manual, a charging cable, the light, and a carrying strap. So again, I mean, this thing is just significant. And as we actually get a closer look, you'll notice this also has a wall cradle. So this is a, and I guess what I'm gonna call, pretty serious piece of lighting equipment. Again, this is not going to be your daily carry by any means, but this is gonna offer a robust, durable, just heavy duty lighting solution that when it really matters and counts and you need something that's just going to be pretty much bomb proof, this should do it. And so they call this the Vulcan clutch because, well, and I'm going to have to get into this in a little bit of detail, but this is the clutch design. So a spring loaded mechanism here, you can see spring loaded and Streamlight's kind of been doing this lately with sort of multi-use, multi-role, and like spring-loaded and, you know, mountable lighting solutions. And the clutch here is another example of that. So over the top here, you have a couple of clips. You can, you know, get this mounted onto, you know, cables, wires, things like that. Hang it from a number of different places. Or you can literally leverage this clutch to grab onto a surface. While we're sitting here, I mean, I have this wire mesh stand right here. And right away, I mean, that can just clip on there. Now, I'm not getting quite the angles I need, but it's very easy just to get this mounted into place and it's going to start to grab on. As I take this and flip it over, well, this easily, you know, tail stands. I can put this down and the head will rotate. So at this point, you can see getting the head swiveling it around in a number of different directions. That's going to work out easily. The button here, pretty straightforward, a nice, large, oversized and weather resistant and you know water resistant button. This is going to be a design that is just mud, grime, dirt, debris, sort of resistant to the elements. And as you see the head swiveling pretty much, and I'm not going to say all the way around, but I mean, pretty darn close from there all the way around almost 360 degrees pretty darn close i would say close enough for that matter rubberized grip easy to get a handle on and not 
terribly heavy. I mean, this is robust, but it's not terribly heavy. So I don't feel like you're really going to fatigue too terribly over the course of use. Swiveling the head back into place. So when you're gonna use this as a primary flashlight, again, press the button, here you go, illuminating in front of me. That's a pretty standard sort of, you know, handheld lantern style. Uh, if you needed to, again, just rest it down, get this swiveled up into place. Now at this point, we can swivel the head around and use this as a bench mounted or table mounted lighting solution. Put it on the ground, illuminate an area, no problem. You can angle both down or let's say you wanted to illuminate up. The nice thing is swivel the head, angle it sort of up, and you can see here just bouncing this literally straight up off of the ceiling. So that's gonna work well to illuminate an area. As I long press the button, you can see multiple modes. So this does go into sort of that blinking uh, safety mode. Again, as I press the button, long press here, that does dim down, so you have multiple intensities. And you'll see now if I fully long press again, it goes into that beacon mode. So just a nice sort of safety factor if you wanted to use this in a vehicle on the side of a road, something like that. It also even has this blue light in the back. So again, just another little sort of beacon. So a couple of different ways where this becomes useful. That's pretty nice. Now when it comes down to it, you cannot charge from what I can tell directly into the light itself. You pretty much do need the cradle. So here you can see the charging cradle. Now, again, push button to release. You can wall mount this. You can mount it on a surface, but you do have a couple of different options. So this here, this is for a vehicle, which is awesome. Remember what I was saying? This could definitely be used for search and rescue, fire apparatus, things like that. So the ability to charge straight off a vehicle that is awesome, or in this particular case, you do get your wall plug pretty straightforward and standard. You can see here as we get this, it does plug into the back side here. So again, pretty straightforward. Setting this into place and you'll notice there is a plus and minus. This also does have a key on the inside and then a keyway. So really only one way this can go as we plug it into the charger. It is fairly firm as we press this into place, but I believe that's all the way. You have the ability to route this cord through a couple of different ways and get it clear from the backside of this charging stand. So at this point, I'm going to get everything plugged in and we'll see how it is charging the light. Now with the charger ready to go, you can see on the side, there is a battery status indicator. So as you take a look here, it did blink green. And as we set this down onto the charger at this point, you can see the light now red indicating that it is charging. So we're gonna let this fully charge before we get it into some field use. Now again, depressing the push button and this now pulls out. A couple last things worth noting. Now at this point, you can see as I turn on the light, the tail light here is on, I believe, if we long press here for 10 seconds, and I might need to do this with the light off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And it's changing the mode of the tail light. And you can see that's all on. I'm gonna do this again. So you'll notice solid light. I need to hold this down for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now after 10 seconds, you can see when I turn the light on, the tail light is now off. And then long pressing between the different modes, that light is off. So depending on what you're trying to do, you can turn that tail light either on or off. I will probably leave it off, but if I wanted to turn it back on again, when the main light is in the off position, then a long press and hold, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. The light comes on and blinks. And now it should be in the on position, which you can see now, yes. So it is now blinking. And as I long press between the modes, it does stay blinking. So for me, again, last time, long press, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The light will turn off. 
and now you can see again the light is in the off position so generally speaking pretty easy to work on this get it through the different modes now a couple last things to consider if you do want to leverage the shoulder strap this shoulder strap is definitely an intriguing design it's literally a seat belt which i don't know i don't know how i feel about it um it's kind of interesting i think that you know it's really in the eye of the beholder and field use testing will prevail now of course you can click this onto some of these different lashing points so you can see here this is pretty much you know how i would connect it here pretty straightforward it can be adjusted depending on the size of the strap that you need so i don't know it's a little bit interesting it's breakaway design which i guess if you were getting yourself into a sketchy area or if you were like a firefighter and needed to like drop this off of you you could certainly do so it's a little bulky it's a little cumbersome it's kind of cool i just don't know how i feel about it quite yet but at this point let's get into some field use well, as i get the vulcan out for general field use you can see at this point literally nothing but a single press and here you go so as i long press you can see it's gonna kind of go between the different modes and turn the light on long press that's now the low mode so the low mode is going to allow me to navigate around i have this slung over my shoulder which i actually really like right now that's working very well very easy for me to navigate around hands free it's kind of nice beaming off just that low mode tons of light fully illuminating this bridge right here with ease as i single press to turn the light off at this point turning the light back on that's going into the highest mode a huge amount of light nice big cone of light illuminating everything all the way across the shoreline with ease this is a nice quality beam of light now it's going to look a little bit hot in the middle of the actual camera screen but to my eyes it's illuminated perfectly literally the perfect amount of light good quality beam lighting everything up nicely that's fantastic now again if i'm going to navigate i need to single press to turn the light on and then long press to dim it down just so i'm not completely blinding myself as i walk around but you'll see a good amount of light a nice beam and again the fact that this is over my shoulder very convenient very easy looking around no problem coming up onto this bridge no problem more than enough light i'm gonna beam up into the trees for a minute this goes all the way to the tippity top of these trees those are probably about 60 feet tall maybe more no problem even taller trees up over there no problem all of this and this is in the low mode way out no worries way out no worries take a look at this i'm gonna turn the light off and then back on that's that high mode i mean i'm lighting up way down river here that's awesome now again you can see if i was getting into a search and rescue situation and i needed to beam the light boom no problem out at distance good quality amount of light lighting everything up off into the distance a very serious beam thought i was going to get some wildlife here unfortunately it's just a stick floating downstream but that does give you a pretty good indication of how this light would work again this is in the high mode but you can see if i was trying to find somebody maybe there was someone you know stuck floating down river i could easily illuminate them keep this beam trained on it help get some you know help out to the people if needed tons of light look how far this goes all the way down the river all the way down that's maybe 300 feet away fully illuminating this scene onto the shoreline again up into the trees nice very nice amount of light 
As we continue on our way, I'm gonna give you a little bit of tunnel vision here, but this will again demonstrate the quality of this beam and at distance. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn the corner and come over here. You can see this nice dark area at this point really starting to demonstrate how far this punches into the woods you can see i'm just going to stay still here for a minute nice penetration deep into the trees and here you can see this nice long pathway so at this point that path is a couple hundred feet from the point that i can see all the way out let's give this a quick little shot i think you're gonna like this here in the low mode So if you needed to, you could definitely set this up as a lantern, light up an area. So I can swivel the head here as I get this into place, swiveling the head, putting this down on the ground. I can now illuminate this entire area. If I had to work in here, no problem. Very easy. Enough light, it is blinding, but enough light to be able to work out here. Now if I needed to, I could also swivel the head in a couple of different directions, kick it around. If it was indoors, bounce it off a ceiling, that would be fantastic. Now a couple of things worth considering, the fact that this does have the grapple is awesome. It gives me the ability, if I needed to attach it to a sign pole, to you know, a piece of wood or something like that, I could certainly do so. Makes it a little bit easier to be hands-free, depending on what you're trying to do or what your operation is going to be. But overall, I have to say, I am happy with the beam quality, the overall capabilities, and I actually really am starting to like the ability to carry this on my shoulder. At first, I thought that shoulder carrying strap was a little bit hokey, but after using it here, it's actually kind of nice. And so with that, single press, off. Now something else to consider, this does have a little blue blinking light now. As you see, I'm parked on the side of the road, traffic's gone by. I mean, I'm not so certain that's bright enough to indicate anything of use in an emergency situation. At least it's there, but I do feel like the light itself is much more effective. So the blue light's cool, but eh, not quite enough in my opinion. And you can see now as I get a little bit closer, I mean, I'm just starting to really make out the fact that there's those blue LEDs. So again, it's okay, 
but not great. I think that could be a little bit brighter, which would make it much more effective. And so, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at this massive Vulcan light from the people at Streamlight. All in all, pretty impressive. I'm actually happy with this light. It's not my usual sort of style. It's not my usual sort of design build, but it is different. And I like that. And I have to say, I appreciate it. And I appreciate some of the funny little things that I didn't know I was going to like. First off, I'm very pleased at the interesting sort of seat belt design shoulder strap. I think it's an interesting design. I like that it's breakaway. It's very functional. It's actually fairly comfortable. And I think it adds a level of maybe safety and security for somebody who's in a situation that could be very difficult or even dangerous to have something strapped around their shoulders. Now, I do like the fact that in a moment's notice, you can break this away and drop it off. If you're a firefighter, that might be important. If you're even in a search and rescue situation, that might be important. Or maybe you're performing inspections in a tight area. And a lot of times you do get into confined space entry where this could be a little bit dangerous. So having the ability to kind of break it free if you need to, I think is an advantage. And I don't see the idea being that you could accidentally push the button and accidentally drop the light. I think that would be very slim or far chance and not very likely at all. So all in all, that worked out very well. The beam quality, fantastic. Nice large head beaming off into the distance. Good amount of light, very even, and in just a quality light. And the fact that, you know, you can mount it to a number of different things. The mechanism's okay. It's not the best, but it does its job. It's functional. It's very stout. It's a positive click. The wall charger actually really good as well. And the fact that it's a good durable construction, I think that makes this a viable option for a number of different scenarios. So from construction to search and rescue, fire and safety, and all the way through inspections, a very, very nice overall piece of equipment from Streamlight. And so again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Streamlight for providing this for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.